Good afternoon. It is Monday, April 8th, 2024, and you've probably heard for a while this is a big date as we are tracking the solar eclipse, the great American eclipse here. And I wanted to show you uh, starting out with a look uh, from UW Medicine. This is looking west, which we are going to be watching the western sky a little bit uh, just to be looking at that cloud cover because as I go ahead and show you our current cloud cover here at 1230 this afternoon, a few clouds to the north northwest there. We're seeing that over towards Boston, Prairie du Chien, Richland Center. But the good news is if I go ahead and pause this for you, you can see the breaks in the clouds there. That, that's a good thing. We're not looking at overcast skies here in southern Wisconsin. If you're a little bit closer to La Crosse, maybe closer to overcast skies. But the thing is with this system here, and I'm going to go ahead and put up the timing because a lot of people have been asking about that. 20 minutes from now is when this eclipse starts. It's 1231 right now at 1251. We will start to see the eclipse uh, begin. And what's going to happen here is that the moon is going to come across the sun at totality totality, I have to say, oh, in quotation marks, 2.06 p.m. That's when 87% of the sun will be covered by the moon. So, you know, when we see the sliver of the moon, depending on the different moon phases, that's what the sun is going to look like. And the only way you can see that is with those glasses. In totality, if we were in the path of totality for about four minutes, you can look at the sun without those glasses because it will be completely covered by uh, the moon and it will actually get darker. Uh, temperatures will drop a little bit. I was in the path of totality in 2017 and let me tell you, it is absolutely breathtaking here. But even in southern Wisconsin, if you decided not to travel, still a lot of fun to be seen. And I'm going to be going live at two o'clock again just to uh, be there when it when we get in our totality, our partial totality here uh, in southern Wisconsin. Weather looks great for it. Temperatures are going to be in the 60s for this event. Like I said, you can start going outside as early as 1251 and it ends at 319. It's a pretty quick event. That totality happens between about 204 and 208 for us. Four and a half minutes, which I'm told is also the same amount of time as the Bonnie Tyler song, Total Eclipse of the Heart, that had to be on purpose, right? Uh, so this is a really great event, but make sure you have those glasses. You cannot look at the sun without those glasses because it's never going to get fully dark. You're still going to be staring at the sun no matter how much of the moon is covering it. So it looking very good uh, for us here. Another thing before I forget, um, if you have a colander, one of those colanders in your kitchen, uh, if you put it over the sidewalk, you might be able to see uh, some little crescents when we're towards totality. If you don't want to look at the sun, uh, use that. Use a colander, go outside with the kids if you can, and you might be able to see a shadow of crescents on the ground. So that would be really cool to see as well. This is a almost a once in a lifetime event. I did the research here, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull up the eclipse track really quickly because um, we all know we're not in totality but 87 percent of of the of the sun will be covered which is really cool i i did the math for you here uh 2045 is the next time that we're going to see the eclipse go all the way across the united states 2044 there's a, a slight uh a slight path i believe towards the very northern central part of the united states but not us in wisconsin if you're wondering if wisconsin is ever going to be in the path of totality i did that research for you uh that's uh in 2099 <laughs> so i don't know if a lot of us will be around for that uh but interesting there september 14th 2099 to be exact so very very interesting here. This is this is one of those those events that uh, they, I mean, it, it's almost once in a lifetime here. Like I said, 2045 looks to be uh, an interesting one for us. I'm also looking at 2052, 2078. Uh, so yeah, if you can get outside at least for a little bit, find those uh, those glasses for you. It will be a really interesting event. Before we wrap up, just one more quick look outside. This is from UW Madison, looking west again. You can see a few clouds in the distance there, but I think this is going to be pretty similar to what we see the sky look like. And taking one more look at your satellite and radar, if you're over towards Milwaukee, Kenosha, Janesville even, should be good to go for this afternoon. Looking at a lot of sunshine there, so we are very lucky. If you're a little bit closer to the Mississippi River, closer to La Crosse, some cloud cover out there, but I do think that we'll see those breaks. If you, you know, those days where the clouds, you know, go over the sun just for a little bit, it blocks your view for just a minute and then it becomes sunny again. I think that's what we're going to be seeing. And like I said, you don't have to go outside just at 2.06 p.m. You can go out as early as 12.51 through 3.19. That's about two and a half hours to be watching this, but don't look at the sun without those glasses out there. And those glasses, they're not 
supposed to ha help you see. So don't walk around in the glasses there. They're very, very dark. They're just to look at the sun to make sure that you're staying safe because of course we all know we're not supposed to stare at the sun, but in this, uh, this situation, making an exception with those glasses. So, like I said, we're going to go ahead and wrap up here, but good news uh, in terms of cloud cover here. I'll be going live just outside of our station here in West Madison uh, when, we, when it comes a little bit closer to totality. Like I said, 12.51 p.m. is when you can start to see that little crescent come across the sun, and then at 2.06 is uh, when we see that totality for us there, that partial totality. So we hope you'll join us here on WKOW.com. We'll have a continuing coverage all afternoon long.